Welcome to my YouTube automotive channel. In today's video, I have a 2014 Ford Taurus and I'll be show you how to create or delete a Ford Mikey. This video will apply to Ford Tauruses made from 2013 all the way up to 2019. Okay, now first I will quickly explain what Ford Mikey is. Uh, Ford Mikey allows you to program keys with restricted vehicle modes that promote good driving habits. So that would mean, for example, you have a kid and you want to make sure he doesn't drive too fast or you want to make sure he puts on the seat belt or you want to make sure he doesn't listen to music too loud so it, so it doesn't distract him while driving. You can set a top speed at 65, 70, 75 or 80 miles per hour. You can also set a seat belt a reminder. So every 30 seconds there, there will be a chiming noise in case the driver didn't use the seat belt. You can also set a radio content filter so you can pretty much block the radio stations and frequencies you don't want the driver to listen to and you can max the the radio volume up to 44 percent and also you can prevent the driver from turning off driving aids such as parking aids or uh, traction control now typically you should have three keys if you own this for Taurus since new in my case i have two keys and now i will show you how to create a ford my key so this one on a keychain this will be my admin key and this other key will be created as ford my key and let's say for example i'm gonna give this key to my kit once i program it and set my restrictions okay now very important thing if you lose the admin key there is no way of uh, deleting the ford my key other than taking the vehicle to a Ford dealer and then they can access the, the module and delete it there and that will cost you up to 200 bucks. So make sure not to lose the admin key. If you have three keys and program one key, then you will have two admin keys. But if you have only two keys like me, uh, you will need the admin key to delete uh, or change uh, the, any of the restri uh, restrictions. Okay, now you'll be using these uh, menu buttons uh, on the left side of the steering wheel. So you want to scroll down through the menu until you reach settings. And then you want to select uh, my key here, press OK. And now you select create my key. And now hold OK for a couple of seconds. Okay, once that is done, it's gonna say, please put key in backup slot. Now, backup slot is inside the middle console. So if you leave the middle console, the key you wanna create, you're just gonna put it here. This is the backup slot, okay? And once you do that, the message here will change and you just created the, the my key and now here you can set up all the options so you have 911 assist you can uh, uh, turn it on or user selectable you can uh, adjust the uh, traction control let's say it's gonna be always on if my kid is gonna drive it then maximum speed like I'm in Canada so I have everything in kilometers but you will have everything in miles if you are in the States so you can set the top speed so I believe this is like uh, 60 70 75 or 80 miles mine is in kilometers so let's say 120 then you can set the speed minder so this is now the notification once you pass the specific speed so let's say you set it at 90 and when you reach 90 kilometers you'll hear a kind of a, some kind of alarm notifying you you're driving 90 volume limiter that's for the radio so you can set it up uh, as on or off that means the radio will be limited to 44 percent of maximum uh, volume do not disturb 
um, I believe that's for the Bluetooth and things like that if you turn it on so so you cannot uh, receive phone calls and that's that's what you can do now if you go back to the main menu and select information and then select my key you will hear you will see you have uh, one my key and I have two admin keys because this card thinks I own three keys but I own only two keys right I, I lost one long long time ago but anyways okay now to delete uh, for my key you'll have to start the vehicle using the admin key right now you can just start it and try to delete it or you can insert this admin key uh, into this same slot in the middle console right and now just start the vehicle You will go under the settings, uh, my key, and then you will go under clear my keys and press OK. And now hold OK for a couple of seconds. And that's it. So this is how you do it. Okay, thank you for watching this video. I hope it was helpful and educational. If it was, please like it and consider subscribing to my YouTube automotive channel. On my channel, there is lots of how-to videos, do-it-yourself videos, car reviews, product reviews, and other similar automotive topics.